Scott Tinker and uh, going to introduce our dean, who will kick the program off today. Um, as you're taking your seats, it's really a privilege and pleasure for me to introduce uh, Dean Sharon Mosier. Sharon is coming up on her seventh year as dean of the Jackson School, which represents a, you know, if you're counting and can do math, a seven, ten, we're getting you know something like seventy percent, which is, which is remarkable and. And she's going to welcome us today, and then I'll give a few remarks about uh, what the roadmap looks like. And we appreciate everybody coming. We expect the full room throughout the day. We've got over 240 registered now and a lot of drop-ins planned. So plan on a good day. Uh, Sharon, we're very pleased to have you as dean, and welcome. Thank you, Scott. And I want to welcome you all here today. I think it's great to see so many of our friends, members of the Jackson School, alumni, and just people from the university community here to help us celebrate our 10th anniversary. As you all know, the Jackson School was established in 2005 as a result of the Jackson Bequest, with the overarching goal of becoming the preeminent uh, academic geoscience institution with international prominence in geology, geophysics, energy, mineral, and water resources, and the broad area of the Earth sciences, including the Earth's environment. The bequest brought together the Department of Geological Sciences, the Institute for Geophysics, and the Bureau of Economic Geology, which also serves as the State Geological Survey, and uh, turned us into um, what has become one of the largest and one of the most uh, prominent uh, and prestigious uh, geological academic institutions in the country and perhaps the world. Uh, since we have been formed, we have doubled in size. Uh, we now have about 56 faculty, 90 research scientists, 110 research staff and uh, postdocs, about 650 uh, graduate and undergraduate students, as well as about 140 support staff. As we celebrate our 10th year anniversary, I think it's only fitting that we look to the future the future of the geosciences, the grand challenges that face society in the future, and of course the role that the Jackson School can play in helping explore and solve these grand challenges. I also think it's very, very fitting that the format of this reflects Jack Jackson's bequest. The panels are on geology, geophysics, mineral, uh, energy, mineral, and water resources, and of course the Earth's environment. All of these areas are areas in which the school has really excelled in the last 10 years. But today, we're going to look to the future rather than look at our many accomplishments uh, in these areas. Today, we will hear what prominent uh, keynote speakers think about the future challenges in the geosciences and perhaps what our role as the Jackson School can be in meeting these, as well as the thoughts of, of some outstanding faculty, research scientists, and graduate students. I expect the discussions and talks today to be very stimulating, to be thought-provoking, and cause much discussion across our community. As we prepare to embark on our next five to 10 year strategic uh, plan for the Jackson School, this symposium will help shape and hone our goals and our vision, and will provide a backdrop for all of our discussions. Jack and Katie Jackson considered their philanthropy an investment. And as we celebrate their incredible legacy by looking towards the future for the geosciences and the role the Jackson School can take in solving 21st century grand challenges. I would like to thank all the participants, the moderators, the panelists, uh, the keynote speakers who've taken time out of their very busy schedules to come and join us. And most of all, I'd like to thank Scott Tinker, who has been the person who has put all of this together. So with that, uh, I'll turn it over to Scott to give us a roadmap. Thank you for coming. Well, I want to describe what a good assistant does. Um, last night, about 6 o'clock, Teresa Cayouette, my assistant, emailed me and said, anything else you need for tomorrow? I said, you know what I could really use is a little flask of tequila uh, for tomorrow. And so this morning, um, <laughs> it's not open. We're not violating any rules, I don't think, but I don't really care if we are. Uh, 
Teresa handed me in a, in, well, actually, in a really nondescript brown bag. She said, here you go, boss. So as the day rolls on, it'll probably get more happy up here. Uh, anyway, so, so Jack Jackson, um, in, in 2002, Bill Fisher asked me to, to pick up Jack Jackson at a hotel on I-35 and take him to the uh, reception that, that the Dean of Natural Sciences uh, was hosting Marianne Rankin for her, uh, her uh, advisory council and endowment givers. And this was going to be held out of the common. So Allison and I cleaned up the Honda minivan. We had younger kids then. And we drove over, and Jim Langham and Carol were there, and Jack and a friend of his, Katie, had passed away. And we picked him up in our minivan, and we slid the door open, and we, we went off to this reception where there was, a, there was a, a band playing, and I can't for the life of me remember it, but it was the main guy was a giant. He played the steel guitar, and he never stood up, and it was Texas Swing. And Allie and I had grown up together in Houston, Allison and I, and we knew... You know, Tin Hall, we knew how to swing. I mean, we weren't going to win any dance contests, but, but we weren't embarrassing ourselves either. So we went out on the floor, I had my boots on, my hat, and we did some Texas swing. And came back and sat down at the dinner table there, and Jack was looking at me, and he had that kind of funny smile that Jack sometimes got. And he said, Tinker, yeah, yeah Jack. And he said, you look like James Dean. <laughs> And Allison said, yeah, he does. And I said, no, I don't. He goes, no, you look like James Dean, doesn't he, Jim? And Jim, of course, was nodding. And he said, you need to make a movie. <laughs> well, I don't think Switch qualifies, but Jack, it's the best I could do. So, you know, Jack had great vision. Uh, he was always looking out into the future. Um, he, as, as Sharon just said, he invested in us. Um, Bill took me up many times, originally in his house and many times in, in, in the home. And then finally, the last time I saw him was in March just a, of 2003, just a few days, uh, spring break, and before he passed on March 21st uh, in 2003. And I was on my own then, and, and uh, Jack kind of had that way, and he grabbed me and he said, Tinker. And again, with apologies to Peter Flan and Bill and Larry Faulkner, he said, these other guys are old. He said, but you're young. He said, and he always called everything a deal. He said, I want you to make sure this deal works. Okay. And here we are. So 10 years later, actually 13 years later from that time, but 10 years since our school officially formed, here we are. And we've got a great day lined up. I think that, I hope that Jack would be proud of everything the school's accomplished. But as, as Dean Moser said, we're going to be looking into the future. We've challenged the panels, we've challenged the moderators or the unit heads and the director of the Environmental Science Institute. We've challenged our panelists and our keynotes to look out in the future. What's coming in each of these areas? And the letter Jack wrote is over here on a poster. I encourage you to read it. The words are blown up. So we have created four panels in this exact order in the way Jack wrote it uh, on that letter. Come take a look at that at the break. It's not a long letter. Jack wasn't, you know, he told a lot of stories, but when he got right down to it. And, then, and you read what he wrote in ink on the bottom right there, and you'll get what he meant by a deal, okay? So what do we got going? Roadmap quickly, and we'll get on, on the schedule. We've got uh, the first panel is geology. We have a great keynote lined up there, uh, George Davis, who we're very pleased to have, and Rich Ketchum's going to moderate, and, and a wonderful list of panelists, and we've got Faculty and research scientists and a student on each panel, a nice mix across the three units. We'll take a short break. Geophysics comes back. Mark Zoback is going to keynote that. And Terry Quinn, director of the Energy Institute, will moderate that panel. We'll have a box lunch, and around noon, the president will come speak with us and talk about his vision for the university and how the Jackson School fits into that. And then right after we got the Jackson 5, we'll tell you a little bit more about that, but it was Jack's name for... Uh, for Larry Faulkner and Peter Flan and Bill Fisher and myself and, and uh, Jim Langham is going to join that panel as well. And we'll have a half hour kind of fun there. And then we do a panel on energy, mineral, mineral and water resources. And Steve Coonan will keynote that wonderful uh, intellect that we're very pleased to have. And finally, the broad areas of earth science and the environment, which Jay Banner will moderate. And that'll be keynoted, um, we hope, by Mary Lou Hastings and Scott Anderson. But I've heard from Scott last night and this morning that he's Kind of sick, so 
Mary Lou will be adding slides throughout the morning and she'll fill that if needed. And then we wrap it up with some final thoughts by Chuck Williamson. Chuck is here and been on the advisory council for many years and uh, has been on the bureaus as well, a great friend of the school. And then Sharon, I'll wrap it up. We'll have a birthday celebration from four to five and that'll be it. So that's our day. I believe we are just about three minutes ahead of schedule. And again, um, please fill feel, feel the, the tables up here. That's what they're for. During the panels themselves, there are, there are cards on your table, uh, index cards. If you have a question you want to ask, write it down there. We'll have people collecting them. The moderators will ask some of their own, and then we'll have time to ask some questions from you to the panel as well. So I encourage you to do that uh, so we can get uh, everybody involved in this, and hopefully we'll get lots of students in here throughout the day as they can take breaks from classes, et cetera. So that's it. We're going to call our first panel up here now, and the moderator will introduce the keynote and the panel members. Uh, Rich Ketchum will moderate that, and, and George Davis will kick it off for us. So panel number one, come on up.